Okay, so we decided that we have sinus tachycardia. So let's think about what we're doing next. Well, we are always assessing our patient to figure out mm, how serious is this. Now, again, tachycardia, a heart rate over 100, trying to figure out how serious this is, we have to go back to basics, which was cardiac symptoms. If you'll remember, cardiac symptoms included syncope, dizziness, and then there was always that blood pressure, you know, blood perfusing, BP, blood pressure, blood perfusing organs. In this case, it would be low, right? I mean, we talked about this already. So we're looking at syncope, dizziness, low blood pressure, palpitations, fluttering in the heart. The patient will feel like there's some fluttering or butterfly in the heart. They may say, I feel like my heart is racing. They may be pale, but they're probably definitely sweating. Now, earlier this week, there was a nurse in our state that had some drama with the fact that she waited too long to see a patient whose symptoms included sweating. I need to remind you that anyone sweating is a medical emergency. But anyway, so the patient could be sweating, they could be short of breath, they could have even chest pain. There's really no telling what could be going on, but whatever it is, they're probably a little anxious about it. So, you know, lean into it, make sure you know this is serious stuff. Now, what's really happening with tachycardia? Well, as long as it's not supraventricular tachycardia, we look at tachycardia as just a symptom, not really like a diagnosis. In other words, we're looking at this patient with this tachycardia and thinking to ourselves, there's got to be a reason for it. It's a symptom. It's not like AFib or a flutter where it's a diagnosis in and of itself. So if the patient has tachycardia, we probably need to figure out the cause, but symptomology is critical. And again, knowing that a patient with a pulse of 120 or higher is definitely who you see first. All right, go get that drink.